All right, number nine, check out these amazing miniature rooms created by a young artist at his company called Mozu Studios. He's only 21 years old. The little rooms are oh filled with hundreds wow. of tiny objects made by hand. And his attention to detail is impressive. Look at this. He even has everything wired so that the tiny electronics actually light up and make noise. Wow. Oh, that's a gift, huh? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, can you right. imagine Ooh. making that stuff? Hours of fun there. <laughs> that's dedication. Yeah. yeah, you guys looking for a new Look hobby with the that. kids right there? Yeah. There's something you can do with them. Wow, yeah. oh my gosh. Gives me the shakes just looking at this. Yeah. I mean, it takes a steady hand. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, you're a bit jittery. Yeah. It's like that game Perfection. Remember that game? Oh, yeah. I used to get the shakes. It was so beat the clock. Oh, like the Operation? Clock. You remember Operation? Oh, oh yeah. Both of them. Buzz, trying yeah. to take out a kid. Couldn't do it. Yeah, that's why you couldn't become a surgeon. <laughs> that's exactly why. Yeah. And I had hopes. All right, number eight. They uh, like to feed their ghosts in Cambodia. Oh. It's part of a 15-day festival called Chum Ben. Yeah. You could also call it Ancestor Day. During this time, people visit pagodas, light candles, and leave lots of offerings for the dead, from money to food. The gifts are used to appease the souls of their deceased loved ones because they believe the ghosts are hungry, and many feel as though their ancestors come together during this time to gather their spirits near the pagodas. Huh. Huh. There so, you go. Uh, what happens after, like, say, tomorrow? The, the food's still there. I don't know. Do you do you, ju do you just leave the food? And the money's you... still there? Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Not question it. Yeah. I just yeah. say, boy, it's, it's complex. It gets you're complex. You're offering all this stuff up, yeah. and the next day it's still there. Right. You're like, ha, huh, maybe they didn't want it, or right. who knows? Yeah. Maybe yeah. it's just the idea of sacrifice is, is what it's about. Yeah, but then mm. who gets it? Good question. On day two or three. Why don't you do a deep dive into yeah. that? I'm busy right now. Okay. I'm trying to get some golf in in the next day or so. <laughs> so I'll get back to you, though. Number seven, back in the mid-90s, a new fat substitute called Olestra. Oh, my came gosh. You remember, remember this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it was heralded by analysts as the single most important development in the history of the food industry. Diet versions of everything were all the rage, and the thought was that Olestra could change that by using a fat substitute substitute that could be added to junk food while keeping taste and adding no calories. The problem was diarrhea. Yeah. Yeah, was. Oh, was a problem. the diarrhea. <laughs> Some people reported eating a lot of the chips or crackers with the Olestra in a short period of time and getting slide right off the chair <laughs> diarrhea. Oh, <laughs> that on. slide right off the chair diarrhea is the worst. They had to put a warning <laughs> label on chip bags, but hold on one second. The FDA did further tests around yeah. that time and found that even if you ate a lot of the Olestra foods, there was really only a very small increase in, you know, diarrhea. <laughs> but still, companies shied away from it, though it can still be found in products on the shelves today. Uh, thanks to the website Tedium for some of the ah, info on this. Wow. That's interesting. How did the scientists not pick up on this? Right, and why isn't Olestra and everything again? Larry and I would kill for a Dorito. Oh. Yeah, you would. Or Does the it Pringles. taste the same, though, yeah, when you substitute? Yeah, it did. I remember that. Yeah, the you know. Pringles were the same also, but they caught up with you. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's why you weren't gaining any calories, because it would just come right out. Come in and out. Yeah. Yeah. Know, Quick maybe. visit. Scientists <laughs> try to pull a fast one. Yeah. You can't trust them. <laughs> no, uh, you cannot. All right, time for number six. Here's something about horses. Did you know that horses have four gates? They increase in, speed, in, in order of speed. There's the walk, there's the trot, there's the canter, and then the gallop. And now there are some exceptions to the rules. Uh, the Icelandic horse has five gates. They walk, they trot, they canter, but in addition to those, they also have the tolt Ooh. and the flying pace. Uh, they're exceptionally fast and considered to be some of the most amazing horses in the world. The old tolt is supposed huh. to be something else. Wow. What do you know? Look how beautiful their Look hair is. Look at that hair. Yeah. Yeah. Look like the Nelson Brothers. <laughs> 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 the Nelson Brothers toy. Larry's doing the deep dives on these hair. these 80s acts. Uh, yeah, they, they were good. They were twins with yeah. long blonde hair. Yeah. And were they twins? Yeah, they, they were, were twins. Identical twins. Were twins. No. The, no. These Nelson were Ricky Nelson's 
sons. Oh, they were boys, identical right. twins. And they were on the show, and, and they couldn't have been nicer. Like they Lovely. totally They totally got it, right? They didn't care if you made fun of them. They were yeah. very nice. I wonder where they are today. Counting yeah. their it's money. another deep dive. Paul, get on that. All right. That's just add that, that to your list. Paul and Nelson Brothers. <laughs> the slide off to Jared Diarrhea. <laughs> and, and, and the people the, stealing the money in the yeah, cemetery. The yeah. Yeah. All right. All right number five. Here's a little life lesson. Glog before you nog. If you hadn't had glog this fall, you're missing out. It's oh, yeah. Swedish mulled wine with orange peels and slices. Lots yeah. of recipes on the internet for this, but don't forget the cardamom. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very cool. important spice. Yeah. And you will thank me later. Not me personally, because I've never made it myself, but according to the person writing this. The point of this whole thing is, it's not time for eggnog yet, but you might want to enjoy the spicy, sweet, rich deliciousness of glog before eggnog season. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's pronounced more like glug. But they yeah. just uh, didn't tell me the that until yeah. the end. They're like, we're going to have her read this wrong for the whole script. And then, uh, gotcha. oh, OK, because the phrase is glug before nog, but it's really pronounced glug uh, before nog. Okay. Yeah. Glug before Thanks for clearing that up. <laughs> it is helpful. That's all right, Aline. I know you're trying to screw me up. That's all right. Uh -huh. Number uh, four, Queen Elizabeth has turned down the Oldie of the Year Award what? from Oldie Magazine. Come on. Come on. A statement says Her Majesty believes you are as old as you feel. As such, the Queen does not believe she meets the relevant criteria to be able to accept and hopes you will find a more worthy recipient. What? Queen Elizabeth is 95, and Oldie Magazine is actually a lighthearted and funny publication. The name is just a way of poking fun at other magazines that are obsessed with youth and uh. celebrity. You know what? I have to give it to the Queen. She's right. got a nice set of teeth for someone who's 95. Did you notice? And from yeah. Britain. <laughs> That's yeah. what I thought you were going to say. I just don't. I don't know why. I've never noticed because she yeah. doesn't smile very well, often. You know, when you have a family fortune of a billion dollars, yeah. you could probably yeah. afford yeah. it. doing do nothing. Yeah. yeah. They are lovely. So you have plenty of time to go to the dentist <laughs> and get cosmetic yeah. they really? dentistry. I'm just saying. She has, the yeah, teeth no, are nice. You're yeah. Full of compliments. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. All right, number three, a woman in the UK was asked to stop wearing this brooch to work. Is it brooch or brooch? I I've always know. said brooch. I think it's brooch. But Is it a brooch? It's spelled like brooch, but it's brooch. Let's see Let what Aline will do if she'll trip you up. <laughs> you can say it both ways, I'm told. <laughs> It's a uh, spider pin from Zara that oh. costs 15 bucks. Yeah, that's great. Turns out the woman's colleague has a fear of spiders. She complained to the manager and said the bedazzled spider oh, was boy. causing her distress. Uh. Yeah. The manager sided with the colleague and asked the woman to remove her, I'll say it your way now, her brooch. How about her pin? It's a people, pin. People got sure. lots of opinions about it on the internet. As you can imagine, that's, uh, that's a fun read. How about you just don't look at it? Issue. Well, that would be too yes. simple, Robin. Mm -hmm. That's why you're not in management. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that and a lot of other reasons. All right, time for number two. A TV station in Spokane, Washington oh, accidentally no. aired <laughs> an adult <laughs> movie for 13 seconds during a weather report oh, no. on Sunday evening. As one anchor tossed it over oh, to Michelle Boss. No. Come on now. Yeah, viewers. We got to see a little bit of it now. See a woman's backside oh, in the monitor boy. just over <laughs> uh, Boss's right shoulder. So oh, they had to apologize. Accidents happen. Yeah. That was in the weather department? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Now that's a story we yeah. need to hear the <laughs> backstory of. Yeah. Backstory. Yeah. <laughs> Fly out to Spokane, yeah. Larry. Maybe you and me both. Well, you wonder why Skilling spends 12 hours here. <laughs> <laughs> Much more than that. Yeah. Uh, number one, the band Judas Priest is back out on the road celebrating 50 years of rocking. And a good way to celebrate is to revisit the classic clip from the short documentary called Heavy Metal Parking Lot. The film oh, features so fans great. tailgating oh, in 1986 yeah. before a Judas Priest docking concert in Maryland. Judas Priest explode into the Capitol Center this Saturday. What's your philosophy on life? No, it's me. Oh. Yeah. It's heavy metal rules. Heavy metal rules. All that punk It doesn't belong in this world. It belongs on Mars, man. What the hell is punk And Madonna, Madonna can go to hell as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> She's a Wow. Seriously, heavy, me oh. Oh. <laughs> heavy metal definitely rules. Twist and Sister, Jews, Priest, Stocking, <laughs> Ozzy, Scorpions, they all rule. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah, we're this guy. Yeah, we're Robin's first husband. Yeah. I'm David Hildy. I'm 20 years old. I'm ready to rock. Ready to rock. Hey, David! I'm going to have to die! Hey, 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 Everybody knew someone like that guy uh, in high school, yeah. didn't they? Oh, yeah. man. Wow. God, how about a where are they now if everybody in right? the documentary? Yeah. How fantastic oh, would that what be? God. A bunch of dorks. No! <laughs> they were, come on, that was cool back then, wasn't it? Larry? I thought it I was, but looking at those kids, yeah. they were a little bit more removed. That was, uh, hey, anyway. it's a great time capsule, so thank yeah. you. Nine at nine.